You've been pregnant for nine months. Now, it's time to give birth. You're having stronger contractions at shorter intervals. As you rush to the hospital, you wonder what will happen next? How long will labor last? And how will you manage the pain? This is your body on giving birth. A pregnant person can choose to have an epidural, which is an anesthetic injection in your spinal nerves to block the pain. But epidurals have many side effects, such as low blood pressure or fever. Some people prefer to have minimal medication. For those who go with an unmedicated birth, prenatal yoga and breathing exercises can help lessen pain and build endurance during labor. So what does unmedicated birth feel like? And when should a pregnancy resort to a cesarean section? Signs of labor. Strong contractions radiating from your lower back to the front are signs of labor. These feel like intense menstrual cramps. Contractions help open your cervix and make it thinner for delivery. This stage can last 12 to 19 hours. Oh, your water just broke. That's another sign of labor. It means the watery fluid that surrounds your baby during pregnancy is now leaking from your vagina. When contractions are coming every two to three minutes, you should go to the hospital if that's where you intend to give birth. Your doctor will check your cervix and monitor the baby's position. Walking, swaying, or squatting could help the baby move into the birth canal and help distract you from the pain. Your contractions are now longer and much stronger, and your cervix is fully dilated. You might feel nauseous, tired, and shaky, but it's time to deliver your baby. Labor. Your doctor will recommend a cesarean section if your baby shows signs of distress or is too big to be delivered vaginally. A cesarean section means your baby will be born through a cut in your abdomen and uterus. In the United States, about 30% of babies are born via C-section. With a vaginal birth, your uterus acts as a pump to push the baby out of your vagina. Okay, are you ready? No! Push! 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 The head comes out first. This may put pressure on your rectum. You might push out a small amount of stool during labor. But don't worry, it's common. Now your baby's head is reaching the opening of your vagina. During this stage, known as crowning, you might feel a burning sensation. You need to push gently to minimize vaginal tearing. Or the healthcare provider might practice an episiotomy. It's an incision of your perineum, the area between your vaginal opening and your anus. It used to be a routine procedure, but some studies have shown it may not prevent severe tears and you could suffer from incontinence, infection, and prolonged pain later on. Okay, you're almost there. Keep pushing. The baby's head is out. Smaller pushes will help the rest of its body come out. Congratulations! You have a beautiful and healthy baby. It's normal to feel achy and tired after giving birth. It will take several weeks to recover fully. While the hard part might be over, giving birth is only half the battle. Stay tuned for part three, where we find out what happens after giving birth on Your Body On.